Hey guys, my name is Alexis and today I'm going to give you a tour of our shop at Bespoke Motor Company. This building has a really cool and interesting history. It was actually a former movie theater built in 1913. And as you can see behind me, there are trusses from the Maritime Bridge Company that used to hold up the second floor of the theater. The theater closed in the early 90s and then it became a nightclub, which was open into around 2015 when it then closed and now it's the home of our automotive shop. So in our shop, we have this really awesome framery pod. This is a soundproof workstation. They're kind of new technology. Now I will say it's not 100% soundproof, but it's definitely sound dampening. So the guys are out here working super loud, air tools, and I can be working at my computer and barely be interrupted. So this is a really cool workstation if you're in an open concept workspace like this, especially somewhere with a lot of noise. We're going to go check out the tool room and see what Charles is up to. Hey! Hey, what's up? Alright, what do we have going on in here? Oh, we were just putting some of the old stainless exhaust system we built for the blue truck. We went a different route, so we're just going to store it in here with the rest of our parts. So we've got all kinds of components in this tool room, spare parts, extras, material for our upcoming builds. Yeah, this is where we keep all the stuff that we need but don't need right now. You'll see a lot of body moldings and rubbers here. We got brand new seatbelt stuff, some shifter rods for the transfer cases. Some of those we use and some of them we just manufacture our own. Everything from drive shaft, blinkers, bumpers, emergency brake kits. And then we've got all of these drawers. So the guys are actually pretty good at labeling things and keeping things tidy and organized, which is a huge help um, and a big boost for efficiency when they're actually putting stuff together. They know where to find it all. So out in the main area of our shop, it's pretty open concept. We have vehicles, as you can see, and we also have all kinds of different parts laid out as neatly and organized as we can. So we have our stack of our old main EMU leaf springs and some others. Uh, these are our front and rear housings we use with the air lockers in them. They come assembled, ready to go. Uh, there's a ARV bumper with a worn winch on it and a table full of brackets and tabs to be welded onto one of the frames that we're put together. So one really cool feature in this building is an actual airplane hanging from the ceiling. So this is a legitimate 1962 Cessna airplane and it was flown here in New Glasgow years ago. Uh, we assembled the wings and we hung it from the ceiling. So it's polished up and it's just a really cool piece of decor in the space. And these are actually two vintage film projectors that came out of this theater. So these were actually used here in the Roseland Theater back in the day and now we have them on display. So this is the place that Jeff, our shop foreman, orders most of our parts and materials. And today it looks like he is ordering pizza from Acapulco Pizza. It is world famous though, so we can't really blame him. Through these glass doors is our CNC router and that machine is what we use to make all of our custom bespoke details like our decals and all the plates that we put on the vehicles. This corner of our shop is the fabrication center. So we've got our plasma cutter, we've got welders, um, we've got a metal brake over here as well. This is actually a vintage metal brake that we painted and put our decal on, but this is actually, um, we're not quite sure how old, but it's a pretty old tool and it still works to this day. We also protect this area with these welding screens that protect from flash and sparks. So we've got a lot of vehicles in this open area and we wanna keep as much of the sparks and the clutter in one spot as we can. So this building has a lot of historical significance involving a Canadian historic figure, Viola Desmond. Viola Desmond was an African Nova Scotian businesswoman who was traveling through New Glasgow in 1946 when her car broke down. So she decided to come to the Roseland Theater to take in a movie while she waited for her car to be repaired. While she was here, she tried to buy a ticket to the main stage, the main level of the theater, 
at the time there was a lot of racial segregation happening in Nova Scotia and she was denied a ticket to the main level because it was a whites only section. In protest, Viola Desmond decided to sit in the whites only section anyway and she refused to leave. She was forcibly removed, she was arrested, fined, and jailed overnight. Now Viola's act is seen as an act of protest and courage, and she's been nationally recognized, including in 2018 when she became the face of the Canadian $10 bill. We also recognize Viola Desmond on this building itself. On the outside, there's a huge public art display that's about 100 feet long, recognizing her act of protest and her courage. Okay guys, thank you for coming along with me for a tour of our shop. We have tons of projects on the go, Land Cruisers, Broncos, Porsches. We've got all kinds of 4x4 resto mods and we hope you stay tuned to see what we build. All right, see you again soon, bye bye. What's in squeaky shoes? Okay, do you wanna show me the strap? Oh, sure. She wants to just be like, stuff, stuff, stuff and things, come on. <laughs> Don't watch, go away, go do something else. What's our favorite local pizza shop? Oh yeah, Acropole. Yeah, open them up, because if they see it, they might be like, hey, free pizza. <laughs> free pizza, Acropole, we love it. Okay, so now I'm gonna put my shoes back on because our floor is so squeaky that I can't wear them while we film. Acropina, number one in water. Acropole's number one in pizza. <laughs>